All right, so we're putting on the front headlight guards. So we struggled pretty hard with it once the bum and the bumper was on. So we took the bumper off. But the problem is that on the inside of the headlight guard, the nut is welded on here. So it's very difficult to get the nut and the bolt to line up so that you don't cross thread it. So the decision was to drill out the hole in the bolt in the nut. And now we're going to slip the bolt straight through and we're going to put a different nut on top of it. This way, it'll be a lot easier to get that connection. And use nylon nuts, right? As much as Kawasaki thought they were doing us a favor by welding that nut onto the headlight guard, it was on. more problem. It was crooked. So, as you can see, right here is the nut. Drill it out. And let's see if that's going to make the process a lot easier. Okay, you can stop the video there. Okay, okay so you can see we put a new nut on top of the bolt once it slid through the, the old nut. Both sides. And then it should be a lot easier for us to get this bolt in on this side and this bolt in on this side. And then we'll put the whole bumper and headlight guards back onto the machine. Hopefully that's going to save you a little bit of aggravation. A lot. And uh, a lot. we'll send a note to Kawasaki and recommend that they don't weld those nuts right onto the headlight guard. So good luck with your installation. Okay, bumper, headlight guards, back on, much easier. When I need to get into the radiator and pull the grill, I'll just take the four bolts and take the whole assembly off as one, much easier. Hope that's helpful to you, share them. So we got the machine the way we want it, pretty much. Got it all street legal. You can see where we place the marker lights. You can really see them well. Nice roof on it. With the tail light guards, rear bumper. We went with the red combination. Kind of highlights the uh, A frame. Ready to go.